welcome to this short video that's going to show how to use the Excel menu in Keysight's vPro. In order to do that, we need an instrument that uh, can give us some real live data. So I've got one of our TrueVolt digital multimeters uh, in uh, use today connected to the uh, computer via the USB port, and uh, it's a model 34461A. <clears throat> I've got a 20 hertz, 10 volt peak to peak sine wave. And I'm going to set up this uh, meter to measure DC volts real fast, um, about 1,000 readings per second or a reading every millisecond. So for a 20 hertz signal, we're going to capture about uh, 100 readings. That will give us about two cycles of the waveform. And that should be some data that we can put in an Excel spreadsheet. So in order to do this, you can, and a lot of folks will do this, they'll create a template that will actually have the information uh, filled in as far as, you know, the format of the spreadsheet. And then they can just simply use their V program to uh, poke data into the various cells, actual data from, you know, the testing. So that's what we're going to demonstrate today. So here's a template that's blank. You can see I've got 100 uh, readings here, but um, it's all zeros for right now because we haven't actually collected any data. Um, we don't have the instrument information or the date and time. So, and of course, the uh, it's just a, a flat line for the readings right now because it's all zero. So this is our template, and let's bring up our V program. Now I've done some of the work already as far as you know, the actual capturing of the data, and we'll display it here just to verify and have the instrument ID. And then here's some uh, variables uh, that we're going to use to uh, the Excel menu. Some of these point to cells in the Excel menu, like this is B1, so this would be column B, row 1. The timestamp will go in column J, row 1, and actually J2 for the time. The date will go in J1. And then the readings will go from A4 down to like A103. Okay? Um, and then I've got some file names here. Here's the file name of the template and then the file name of where we're going to actually store the data. So let's go and use the Excel menu. So we go up here. The very first thing we want to do is initialize the Excel library. That's very important that we do that. The next thing we want to do is we want to get the settings in Excel. Um, we're going to accept all the default settings, but there's information in here that you can maybe change some of the characteristics if you want. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up and open the workbook. Now, I already have a file name here along with my file pass, so I don't need this. Uh, and we'll go ahead and connect this. And now we're ready to put some of the uh, data into the workbook. And in fact, I'm going to clone this a couple of times. OK. And so then um, I want to get the instrument information here and put that into cell B1. I want to get the readings, and I want to put them in. And then the date and time stamp is right here, and I'm just going to use the computer-generated clock to just time stamp when we took this data. And that goes in J1 and J2 cells. So now we have our data all wired up to go into our cells. The next thing we want to do is save the workbook. And um, the good thing is the Excel menu has been around for a while uh, in V, uh, so it supports some of the older versions of Excel. But we want to go in here and select XLSX. That's the current um, format. Then the last thing we want to do is a little bit of cleanup. We want to go ahead and close all the workbooks. And the very last thing, we want to uh, quit the Excel library. Now, you only need one initialize and one quit in your V program. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and run this. We're going to collect some data. Next few seconds, we should see a couple cycles of the waveform. You saw the Excel spreadsheet pop up, and 
boom. And then if we want, we can go look at that Excel spreadsheet again of the actual data. And here it is. So you can see that we've filled in all this. We've got the timestamp, date and time over here. And then we've got our instrument information that was used to capture this data. And of course, we see the chart here in the graph. Okay? Thank you for watching. Have a good day.